All right, so we're going to graph parabolas that have a combination of both horizontal and vertical shifts. Okay, and if you've seen my example one and two, you notice that I've just taken my original parabola and I basically have been just moving it around, which is really nice. But you're like, hey, dude, but well, you know, we don't have this cool thing where we can move it around and all that. So let me just show you this really cool uh, pattern here and how you can graph these very, very quickly. So I'm going to look at the, the original parabola. And, and what I want us to take note of is the pattern that our parabola is showing us. Meaning from the origin, notice that we went over one, up one. I mean, that's how I get my, my second point. If I want to get my third point, I went over two, went over two, up one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I went up four. And if you look at our, our uh, fourth point, I went over three, and then I went up nine, over three, up nine. Okay, and this pattern is actually very important here because the most important point on a parabola is the, is the vertex. And if you know what the vertex is, then that means I can just go over one, up one, over two, up four, over three, up nine. And I can go over one, up one, left two, up three, or I'm sorry, up four, left three, and then up nine. So really the pattern that we want to uh, write down here, and I'm going to write it down over here, is every parabola has this same pattern right here. And that is that from the vertex, we're going to go over one, up one, over one, up one. And then are going to go over two, up four, over two, up four. Over three, up nine. Over three, up nine. And notice that if you square one, you get one. If you square two, you get four. If you square three, you, you get nine. So this pattern is actually very important. And you want to commit that to memory because uh, the way that we're going to graph these guys is by using that pattern. So I'm going to erase this and watch how quickly we can graph now uh, these guys that are, that are um, on the left. Okay, so watch how quickly we can graph this. So starting from zero, zero, again, whatever is inside the parentheses, this is our horizontal shift. And this is our vertical shift. So I'm gonna to go to the left one, up three. Left one, up three. And that right there is our vertex. It's the most important point. Okay, again, I went left one, up three. The pattern was over one, up one. Over one, up one, over one, up one. And then I have to go, um, over two, up four, over two, up four, over two, up four. Now, if you're wondering how many points do you really need to graph a, a, um, a parabola, well, really, minimum, in my opinion, is five. I, mean, I don't think you could get a really good one by just having these three, so you should at least have five. So we're not going to be able to fit the over three, up nine um, on this coordinate plane, so I'm just going to leave it just like that. And this is what our parabola would look like. So that would be um, h of x is equal to x plus 1 squared plus 3. Now what about this guy? x plus 4 quantity squared minus 5. Well, that means I'm going to go left 4, and then I'm going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bam, that's the vertex. Now just do the pattern. Over one, up one. Over one, up one. Over two, up four. Over two, up four. And if you want to do the nine one, you can, but it, just because I want to try to fit them all in the graph here. So I'm going to go ahead and graph my parabola. And there we go. And so this is my um, h of x equals x plus four squared minus five. Okay. So really, what are we doing here? The, the H is our horizontal shift, and the K is our vertical shift, okay? And last but not least, uh, let's graph this guy. So we're gonna go over two, down three. So over two to the right, and then down three. One, two, three. So over one, up one, over one, up one, over two, up four, over two, up four, and that would give us our last parabola right there. 